Week of Advent 1, Monday, the voice of Christ and his doorkeepers. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Psalm 77, 20. Dear Redeemed, the Lord deals with his church by means of his word. He calls men to be his servants of the word. They lead his congregation by teaching the word of God with respect to and the proper distinguishing of law and gospel. Christ did this in the Old Testament days of the exodus of the church from Egypt and to the promised land by his servants Moses and Aaron. The psalmist says, You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. As he did in Old Testament times, he did during his earthly ministry. Jesus taught the truth of his kingdom using the example of a shepherd and his flock to his called disciples and to anyone else who was willing to listen. These disciples were being prepared to be under shepherds, or, as he said in the text for today, doorkeepers. But the one entering by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice. John 10, verses 2 through 3a. Note that the doorkeepers were to speak and to act so that the sheep would hear the voice of the shepherd. The disciples, who would become apostles, were to preach and teach so that the people of God would hear Jesus. They, like pastors and professors today, were to teach about man's sinfulness and Christ's forgiveness man's horrible, hellish predicament, and God's heavenly, gracious gifts. They were to proclaim Jesus Christ, incarnate, crucified, risen, and ascended. These called doorkeepers, these overseers, these pastors, were to listen to and heed the word directed to them. Take heed, therefore, to yourselves and to all the flock among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Acts 20, 28. When someone is baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, that person and the entire congregation hears the voice of Jesus, the shepherd of the sheep. In the announcement of the absolution, that is, when the pastor announces the forgiveness of all sins in the same name, the church hears Jesus Christ. During the distribution of the body and blood of Jesus, along with the bread and wine in the Lord's Supper, when the pastor says, Take and eat, this is my body. Take and drink, this is my blood. The people are hearing the voice of Jesus. When the called servant of the word speaks the benediction at the end of the divine service, the people hear the Lord God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Prayer. O Lord Jesus, I thank you for the ministry of the word and for men like Moses, Aaron, Elijah, Matthew, Paul, and all pastors and especially the man who is my pastor. May your people hear your voice and your voice alone through their faithful ministry of your word. Amen. Hymn 484, stanzas 1 and 2. We bid thee welcome in the name of Jesus our exalted head. Come as a servant, so he came, and we receive thee in his stead. Come as a shepherd, guard and keep this fold from hell and world and sin. Nourish the lambs and feed the sheep. The wounded heal the lost bring in.